The items are made from plastic materials, as we know, water bottles, patio furniture, and even our clothes. All of that eventually disintegrates, though, into tiny particles, and they're called microplastics. Meteorologist Heather Waldman again shows us how that could impact your health and what California, the state, is doing about it. You can stack plastic bottles from the Earth to the moon and back 14 times, and that's approximately how much plastic humans have created. All of that plastic breaks down over time, getting smaller and smaller until eventually it becomes a microplastic. The ones that we're concerned about are about the size of a red blood cell. Those are the particles that when we inhale or ingest them, they can travel through our bloodstream. And we're likely ingesting microplastics just about everywhere we go. While most of them are removed from our bodies, some of them can stick around and they may be distributed through our bloodstream and can accumulate in different organs where they go on to cause inflammation, oxidative stress, and other interactions at the cellular level. There's still some uncertainty over just how bad that is for our long-term health, but California isn't waiting for any conclusions. Earlier this year, the state adopted a microplastic strategy that would actively work to remove microplastics from the environment while researching new ways to prevent more from forming. Both of these bills are groundbreaking in that no other state government and actually no government anywhere in the world has required or developed regulations for microplastics in any sense. The so-called statewide microplastic strategy has 22 immediate action steps to reduce pollution, including limiting single-use plastic and food service, banning the sale of polystyrene packaging by next year, and stopping the sale of cigarette filters and e-cigarettes. But for most Californians, clothing takes up the biggest part of their plastic footprint. Most of the clothing that we buy is synthetic, made of synthetic fibers, those shed when we wash them, uh, as well as when we put them in the dryer. Coffin says an easy way to limit that plastic footprint is to wear your clothes as long as possible. Another easy way to slow the growth of microplastics is to keep anything on your property out of direct sunlight. Things like trash bins, tarps, and outdoor furniture all break down faster when they're exposed to direct sunlight, even if we can't see it happening. For KCRA 3 News, I'm meteorologist Heather Waldman.